Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Sans here and I'm happy to see you again. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button down below so you get updated about new stuff that I will be starting to upload again. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that is really important in the life of a young adult which is saving money at university. Why I am making this video is that I moved to London from Hungary on the 25th of September and I've learned so much, so much stuff in the last month that I just wanted to share because sharing is caring and I care for you guys all, like all of you guys out there. So the first thing is plane tickets. I needed to move countries and that costs a lot. Like plane tickets can get really expensive if you decide to buy them really late. So think in advance, try to take the offers. I would recommend buying like a VIP membership which provides you with cheaper plane tickets and cheaper prices. Pair up with someone or group up with a group of friends to actually buy a membership for a year which costs you around two pounds per person if you are like two or three of you. Also I would look out for sale because sometimes airplane companies can have pretty good sales to pretty nice places um, so that is an option right there to explore the world. The second thing is saving money in your accommodation. I am in a self-catered uh, house of the university and it costs like it still costs a shit ton of money you cannot really save on like accommodation maybe if you like decide to move further away from the university but that doesn't grant you with lower prices because you have to think about transportation so you can save on transportation by using bikes or by walking which is what I do because the university is like five minutes away so uh, why would I take the bus or anything. In your accommodation, I would recommend getting the cheapest bedding. Make sure that you like it, but get the cheapest because you won't be using it for that long. Once you get a job, you will be able to afford better ones, but this is not going to be your dream house or your dream room. Try to make it cozy, try to make it homey so that you can just chill here and you will feel good, but don't expect university accommodation to be the best place where you will live. About food, I would recommend starting to meal prep and thinking about what you eat in a day because I know that food can get really really expensive like um, I would rather make my own sandwiches at home than go to Pret every single day to buy sandwiches like I would spend two hours cooking on Sundays for the next five to six days of the week two meals per, week, uh, per day to save money and time also there are many really good opportunities to get besides cooking ahead there are many free food events are uh, organized by societies of your university so you should look out for those on Facebook if you have your student ID already whenever you go into a shop ask them whether they have a student discount and if they say yes then just show them your ID and you will get around 10 to 20 percent off of your order I would also recommend just stocking up on basic vitamins so if you get ill you won't have to go out and buy the more expensive ones or which the doctor prescribes you because if you prevent your illness you would be better off than getting ill and then staying at home because that would mean that you would have to stay at home rest sleep and not do any coursework because if you're ill you kind of cannot do any coursework if you're planning to go out I would recommend going to a university bar because uh, drinks are a lot cheaper or if you plan to go to a club do pre-drinks at your house pair up or just group up with some people and buy a drink and drink in your house this is only for 18 plus people please if you're underage do not drink I am pretty sure that these were all the tips that I had in my mind today so if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other suggestions and tips, just leave them down in the comments below because it is really important to actually share these around so we could help each other by saving some money. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll get back to uploading at some point in my life. I just have to sort things out in the first couple of months at uni. Once I get accustomed to everything and how things work, I will get back to uploading, I promise. So uh, I guess this was it for today guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, I will see you next time. Bye!